Hey guys, Apollo here, and welcome to a TF2 video talking about the new TF2 summer update. In the in the gameplay right now, you're watching me open my claim checks into crates. And um, basically, the the checks that were dropped before you can on you can use them right now to get crates. Uh, there's a whole load of crates. There's different amounts of crates. The update just dropped. And but before I get into the crates, I'm going to tell you all about the update in the gameplay. Is a quick gameplay of Sniper and Harvest. So yeah, basically the move that update up was a whole load of blogs were uh, announced of the maps that they were going to add, and item changes and votes that they were doing, and new weapons that are not new weapons, new clothing and hats that they were adding into the game. No new weapons were added into this update, which was kind of. Uh, Kind of disappointing. Bringing you my uh, yeah, it's just it's just. I wish they had added some weapons. The update would have been you know not very well done if they hadn't added two maps, which they did. CP stand in and CP process. I'll be doing videos on both of those tuna maps, giving my opinions on them. Uh, they look awesome from what I've been. I did play on stand in and the custom map, and it is really fun to play on. So I'll be bringing you gameplay of that. And they're all over the place. If you check the servers, there's like millions of them all servers are playing the two of them and it's great and the update had shipped and they added over 60 new gold star community submitted workshop items which they are all like medic you know dresses and hats and all these miscellaneous and, and stuff so they are cool the claim checks now are able to be used for the crates as you as you saw there's a whole load of coloring crates and there's a whole load of keys in the shop if you go into the shop which i did go into the shop there's the yellow crate key green, orange, blue, aqua, red, brown, and black. There is so many keys, and that you can also get a random one or a pile of them for like to release into a 23-man server. So that's incredible as well. So, Yeah, you can add uh, those keys into the crates, and the so summer cooler crates, yeah, they dropped. And there's just going to be random different types of hats in the crates, so... I probably won't be up, up, uh, uploading any videos I'm creating, and I probably won't uncreate the, the crates. I'll probably just sell them off because there's no weapons in them, and it kind of sucks, to be honest. I wish they would. Hopefully, they could add something in August or something. And the Steam Summer Sale could be tomorrow, on the 12th of July or somewhere near there. Anyway, it looks, it looks really interesting and really fun. So yeah, and they also added. Uh, the two new maps which they had added, they added a whole load of changes. For the MVM, they also added, uh, they renamed the, what's it, Coal Town event to Ghost Town or something. Uh, I'm not sure what it, what it actually was, but they had renamed Coal Town event because so, it was like bugging or whatever. And they had fixed a load of bugs, and for the CP Egypt, they fixed that you can no longer build on arches or high ledges, so they fixed CP Egypt so it's not broken anymore. They also fixed uh, collisions of props and clipping smoothing and badlands and dust bowl. They fixed all these things where you know you're moving your sentries and they fixed the roof as well on Badwater. I am assuming, uh, just checking it out here. But yeah, they they fixed so much stuff. The blue spawn pawn, blue spawn point over a great removed. I don't even know what half these things are, but you know it's always good. Players can no longer build in spawn room rafters. Big rock fixed players building on rock and cave section. So you can no longer do all this stuff. So it is, you know, it's really cool. And they were right about the uh, the thing being that you can no longer, or the, the whole list is going to be as big as Hydro. There is so much stuff off of this, and they've changed a lot of items and everything. The strange bacon grease can now be gift wrapped, so that's awesome. And they did, like, you know, for the Criticola, they had damage taken from Mini Crits, which rem was removed. And they am added damage taken from increase. Damage taken increased 25%. Short stop added 20% bonus healing while deployed. Okay. Added 80% vulnerability, increased all push forces while deployed. So they basically added stuff and de added stuff. Let me see. Let me just go down to the Dead Ringer. Cow Mangler reduced clip size from 5 to 4. Removed 10% damage attribute. 5% slower reload. So they just made it like the basic one, kind of. Liberty Launcher gets a new reduced clip size. Yeah, they had, the Liberty Launcher now has four rockets instead of three. So. Phlogistonator fixed in progress resetting after touching a resupply cabinet. I suppose. And they fixed the... I can't find that ringer. But anyways, they added so many... 
awesome stuff, I suppose. Dead Ringer, when under the effect of Feign Death, taken damage and decreases the duration of the effect. Oh, so when you take damage. I had already, for the gameplay right now that you are watching, I had a, a different type of video planned. I was going to sh talk about the new move those maps up and move the votes up or whatever items up. So that that is very interesting that they did blog about it. There was no day one, day two, or day three. No massive update with items and stuff like on their page and stuff. Like this was a summer update, but there's no like now featuring like it's still featuring the electronic boogaloo. Uh, next update could possibly ha be Halloween or it could be summer, like more of August or something, like they did in Band vs Machine in August and the big one in summer of the pyromania so it'll be interesting to see if there'll be any more updates satisfied with the update i suppose with the two new maps the crates probably won't be doing much with them but the maps will be interesting they actually added maps new maps which is always fantastic fantastic but yeah i'll be bringing you loads of gameplay on all the new stuff and maps and i'll probably go into a more detailed version of all the item changes in the in the game i'll probably do a video of that and uh two new maps definitely and i don't know about crates but yeah there's a lot of crates and keys but yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe for more team fortress 2 added daily even though i don't add daily because i'm an idiot and i haven't been uploading in a while because you can blame camtasia because it won't upload because it just fails on me and it's just stupid and you know but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and that's the end of uh summer update hopefully there'll be more of that to come thanks for watching and goodbye